happening? Hey, Don here. I'm Chris. First deck review of the season. First of many. And today we're going to do something new. Just happened to neither one of us try it. I was going to review it a couple weeks ago, but I forgot about it in the fridge, so. Sweet. So, we got Fire in the Rye from Double Trouble Brewing. Roasted rye, pale ale, deliciously unfiltered. This is a 6.1 percentary strong beer. Uh, our single hop roasted rye pale ale has landed. Fire in the rye combines its smoldering aroma of rye with the floral notes of centennial hops, landing at a flavorful 60 IBUs. This is our boldest beer yet. Well, you love fire in the rye as much as we do. The actual delicious truth is out there. Cool little dude. We're starting rye fires. Nice. For me. Why, thank you. Good. It does smell good. It smells really good. Yeah, the rye is definitely there. <laughs> yep. Very grainy, earthy, uh, a little pretty. Yeah. Cheers. Floral. <laughs> Bitter. <laughs> A little bit. It's not too bad. It's kind of zingy. Or zangy. Tangy. It's good. There you get all the unfiltered goodness. Oh, unfiltered goodness. I don't know. Chewings for later. I don't like. I give it a three. Two and a half, three. I give it a two. I mean, you're getting not, not enough of the citrusy hops that I like in it. It says there is, doesn't it? Those centennial hops. Uh, yeah. Got you with the centennial hops. Floral notes of centennial hops. 60 IBU, yeah, I can see that. But yeah, it's not. Uh, Just another pale ale? Yeah. Nothing really special. It'd be a lot better if they used more citrus hops in it. But, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to, like I said, two on it. I'll go three. I want to drink it again. Anyways, cheers. Cheers.